Today's lesson will be on reference planes. First uh, demo is going to be which way you draw the reference planes. As you can see here, I'm going to go from basically, if you look at it from the bottom to top, or left to right, however you want to you know, look at it, and then come back down. Over here, I'll do the same thing. I'll come from the top to bottom, then back up. Oops. Do that again. Come back up. Okay, I'm going to call this left. Inside left. Inside right. And right. All right, and now I'll go to the left view and I'll draw some extrusions. I'll just draw a circle. I guess I can just copy them. <laughs> okay, first one I will set it to left. Next one will be inside left. Next will be inside right. And right. So now, as you can see here, my left, the geometry from basically positive to negative has gone from basically the right to left and left to right on the inside. And so it doesn't matter. So if you click on the reference line, wherever you see the text, positive is the opposite side. So as you can see here, this is the positive side. Okay, let's take it six inches. So that's the positive side. All right. So when you're drawing reference planes, it doesn't matter if you're trying to, uh, you know, host extrusions to your reference planes, which I tend to think that's a really good method. One of the advantages of doing that is that you can actually create a parameter called length to that. And instead of creating another reference plane, you can just control it just using that parameter. And there's no way to break this off. Your, it's, this geometry is always going to be hosted to that reference plane. One more little trick uh, about uh, reference planes. Um, if you grab the end of the reference plane and you flip it to the other side, as you notice, the geometry will basically mirror itself uh, to the other side. Um, so if you do want to want to flip it, you can easily just grab the ends and it'll flip the geometry. And then, you, of course, you have to bring it back up, put it in the right spot where you were before. But it does stick to the ge uh, to the reference plane. The next thing uh, most people don't know uh, is that when you're drawing a dimension, I learned this on a YouTube video from Brian Mackey. And if you right click over the lock and you go to reference views, it'll tell you the views that it's attached to. Oops. Also, if you right click on it and show related, you'll see here that it's telling you that it's connected to the left and the right. Uh, planes there, so you'll know where your dimensions are being attached. So if you get to a point where you're like, well, where is this really, you know, where's my dimension? Is it to a geometry or is it to a uh, reference plane? This is how you find out. So let's change this to the geometry there and do the same thing. See left, and then you see this extrusion. Where's that extrusion? There's your extrusion right there. Pretty cool, cool tip. The next tip. As you can see here, these are, uh, which I should have probably mentioned earlier, uh, they're set to weak. But let's, you know, one of the different problems is that, as you can see here, I wasn't paying attention here, and basically, uh, you know, I can't tell the difference between a weak and a strong. So there is a way to get around this. If you go to Manage and say Object Styles and go to uh, Annotation Objects, I created two uh, subcategories. 
And what you can do here is that you can set, you know, set this to strong. I can then set this one to weak. And then I can say subcategory is weak. Same with this one. Let's change that to weak. And what I did was I changed the color. The advantage here is that you can tell the difference. Now let's say I'm going to draw another reference plane. And this reference plane, I want to make it not a reference. And I set it to not a reference. And as you can see here, I change it to a red color. You know, maybe you want to change it to whatever colors you like. But at least now I know which ones weak and which ones are strong and which ones are basically uh, not a reference. All right, the next demonstration on planes is what's the difference between strong, weak, and not a reference? Okay, basically this uh, family, I created uh, two strong reference planes and I have an instance parameter attached to the, in a dimension. And then this one is a, set to weak and this one's set to not reference. So if I, I try to align the strong, as you can see here, it's stretched. The, uh, you're basically your family. If I pick the other wall, I'll stretch that way. And if I do the same thing for a week, I basically, the whole thing goes over. Um, when you go to the reference plane, as you can see here, it is picking the line, but if you hit a tab, so if you hit a tab here, you, you, know, you get the, hey, there's no, there's no plane here. If I hit a tab on week, you definitely can select it. So you can't select the reference plane. In this case, I cannot. So you can move the not reference, but you're just grabbing the line. So that's the difference between strong, weak, and uh, not a reference. Okay, that's it for today's tip. Until next time.